I got to tell you, without a doubt, the single best part of my day every day is hopping into farming sim, running around and checking on the farm before I actually start recording to just make sure everything's good. Check in on where we're at. See what's going on. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back uh, to our farming sim playthrough. It is now October, which is a big day, a big month for us, a very big month for us. We have a lot of shit to figure out today on farming sim. But first off, I just wanted to say I hope you're having a great day. Welcome. To, it's uh, episode 52. Welcome back. Uh, why is it a big day, Ryan? You ask? Well, I can tell you why. October is the month where corn is harvested. Uh, we knew that. We knew that already. Also, sugar beet is harvested. And sugar beet is not a thing we have yet harvested once. So, I do not know how sugar beet is going to get harvested. So, first things first today. Uh... I am going to make sure that I know how to do that. Uh, we'll, we got $20,000 $20, to our name. Uh, yeah. So here is what I remember about sugar beet. Let's figure that out today. We're going to figure it out together. Uh, oh, there's used vehicles. The problem with used vehicles right now is that I have absolutely... I don't need any of them either. Way. I don't need either of them anyways. But uh, we, I have absolutely no money to buy anything. So uh, <laughs> sugar beet. So... My understanding, yes, this. Before sugar beets can be harvested, it says in the upper right-hand corner, the foliage needs to be cut with a home topper, like this one. This harvester, and this is the thing that we own already, this harvester digs the sugar beets out of the ground. Home topping is needed prior to using this machine. So, we need this thing, which I believe goes on the front of your vehicle, of your tractor, cuts the home, and then prepares the field for use uh we don't own one of those and as we just noted on my money we can't really afford to buy one we have twenty three and a half thousand dollars and it cost 24 last i checked that does 24 and a half that does not even include <laughs> oh we could be at a really hard spot right here uh that does not even include the uh the problem we have which is that we own a harvester but we do not own a corn header to use with our uh on our cornfield today so if we leased one of the if we leased this one right here uh i don't remember how much it costs five thousand dollars so there's that then we also need to lease the uh we should just go ahead and do it because we have to, we have to buy it today we, we absolutely have to lease it today so we should just go ahead and lease it um pick up your leased vehicle from the shop great that said, we also have to lease this. That only costs twelve hundred dollars. Okay, so we can actually do this. Um, the question is going to be whether or not we want to buy this. I don't think we do. We're gonna lease it today for twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> I have so many questions and no answers to any of them. Uh, all right, so. Let's try this. Let's try this. We have the New Holland here. Uh, step by step, we're going to take this. Let's take this sucker and park you right here. Grab the... Uh, let's just send you down to the shop to pick up your used piece of machinery. Uh, your, sorry, your leased piece of machinery. Let's send you down here to go pick up that home home cutter on the front of the thing. Uh, you are also going to have to leave this here and go down to the shop. Uh, we'll drive this to start, I think. Um, yeah, man, today's a nervous day. Can you tell? I'm real nervous. Today's a nervous day. Uh, the good news is we should fold this up while we're just driving. I'm going to zoom out too so it's not hella loud. The good news is it's a it's a good kind of ex of nervousness. Uh We're doing a thing we've never done before, which is harvest sugar beet. I've done it specifically. I've done it once on a uh, a contract, which we saw uh, here on this series. That's it. I was using a very different piece of machinery than we we're about to use right here, though. Um, so I really this is going to be very interesting for all of us involved. I'm going to cut uh, to us getting these pieces of equipment. Okay, we are pulling into the shop. 
we have ourselves a corn header here. Uh, I will say, one of the other slight bummers here about how tight we're running our money ship right now is that uh, in probably one month, like tomorrow, I don't know if I can make that turn. Yeah, I definitely cannot. We would have been able to afford uh, to buy either this header or that home topper. Probably the header is what we would buy. I don't know that we'll do sugar beet again after this. Um, I do not know. I'm actually just going to leave this here real quick. Blocking the road while I go hook this up too. And that's because uh, October, November is around the time that canola and eggs, uh, we sell both. Eggs are 3,800 but rising. Yeah, it's October currently. Tomorrow slash December. Canola is literally tomorrow. What is it? Currently 2,200 at Goldcrest Valley. Fuck, we probably should have just sold that. 2,200 is pretty good. Oh man, we probably should have just sold the canola. That's okay. Um, we can do that maybe if we get time uh, today, which I highly doubt we're going to have time. Uh, or we could do it tomorrow and that money will come in at some point anyways. Let's just make sure that this thing will hook up. I'm a little nervous about using this tractor for this job. It's our strongest tractor, so it really shouldn't be a problem, but... Um, I've just never used uh, uh, any front attachment on it, so let's make sure that it turns on. It does. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get things uh, sort of settled in terms of all of uh, all of my workers in the right place and all of my equipment in the right place, and uh, we'll be right back. It would be really rude to just drive our enormous harvester through our neighbors. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, I thought, oh, we have a shortcut to the cornfield over here. Uh, I had not considered that. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, consider me surprised. Honestly, I did not think that was going to work. Uh, but we had room. We're through. Great, we're going to start the uh, corn harvest here in just a second. Uh, we'll do the normal thing, you know. We'll get it started and we'll let a worker take over after a while, but we're going to do at least a lap around the outside. Um, give our workers some wiggle room. Especially with... Especially? Especially with this very large harvester and header uh we want them to have room to turn around this is a beautiful sight look at the sheer amounts of corn being taken in by this machine right now oh my god that's really loud too uh this is actually incredible we are just spitting out corn out top this is a beautiful machine. I'm so happy that this thing came up on our uh, our uh, used sale. Oh my god. Makes me so pleased. Alright. And every piece of this corn is a uh, that, we're, that we're harvesting right here is a future cow over in that field. Or a future you know uh, bit of grapevine in our front yard. Um, oh, it's a beautiful sight. I think we're probably honestly, that does bring, that brings up a good point. I think we're probably honestly taking a pause on buying land because we have two pieces of land that I would really, really like to develop with my money. Uh, put, putting grapevines on our front yard and, uh, and putting uh, a cow and or horse, depending on which one comes first, I don't really know, uh, and or horse pasture over on that that grass field that we've uh, harvested once. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're land rich right now, but we are not, uh, we are not money rich, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful machinery. Harvesters look like hellish robots from the future sent to, you know, destroy things. They look like sci-fi creations. But also, you have to admit, they also sometimes sound like it too. They also look pretty awesome. I was scared I was scared of a I was scared of a corn headers as a kid. Cuz if you sit inside of a corn and you look down, you just see flashing blades and I I hate blades. I'm very scared of blades. Um you just see flashing blades left and right destroying the Cutting the corn stalks and uh, shredding material and... Oh, 
I did once climb up into the back. I don't know if I've told this story on this, uh, on this series. Uh, I've told it on stream before on Twitch, but I don't know if I've... I once climbed up, when my grandpa started getting older, uh, he would hire me. Let's see if we can set this worker to go. He would hire me to hop in the back of... I can't... I can't talk because it's so loud. Right in there, where dust is coming out. Uh, excuse me. Worker? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, buddy. We're letting the worker do this. We'll see how they do. Uh, we would climb in there. Stocks would get... Uh, stocks or, you know, different parts of the corn plant would get uh, stuck in there. At the end of uh, harvest, he would need to clean it all out. Clear it all out. And, uh, oh my god. <laughs> this worker's on drugs. Oh no, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be cleaning up some mistakes over here. I can tell. I would crawl inside of it and, and get that stuff out. Anyways, it's a core memory for me. Core memory for me. Thanks to, thanks for coming to Storytime with Ryan. Um, alright, let's go ahead and put a... Let's put something on this, just so that we have it. And then let's grab a, uh... Let's grab the pallet forks. Yeah. Mmm. Shit. And then we could grab the trailer, which is right there. And get ready to go take this corn. And then maybe we could get our, uh... Our harvester going for sugar beet. I really... That's the big question mark for the day, so I really don't know. Ooh. Oh, I hit the edge of the pin. Oh, shit. I hope I can get out of this. Uh-oh. Physics, by the way. I should have driven straight there. Shit. Oh, no. Are we stuck? Drive straight out. Very wide turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I should not have gone here. We want to go the other way. I don't want to run over the sugar beet. Crap. All right. So let's head over here and see. This harvester is still going to get full before it's done working this field. Let's see how badly the, uh, ooh, the worker has fucked up, uh, his rows here. The rows here. Are you done? Pretty bad, pretty badly we fucked up, apparently. You're not done. You're high is what you are. You're actually high is what you are. All right. I'm going to clean up your messes. We might have to do like two passes around the outside with this, with this vehicle, which is insane. All right, we grab all this. Honestly, I think I may do an extra pass around the outside. This is the... I was talking a couple episodes ago about the, uh, the problem, quote-unquote, of getting be better machinery. Is it can be a, a, a bigger pain in the ass to run. And uh, it can cause problems traveling down the road, finding places to store it, awkward maneuvering, etc. This is precisely what I meant. Precisely what I meant. I'm just going to do one pass on this side, which I think is the problem side. And then we'll see what this harvester wants to do. This wor What this worker wants to do. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get a system down where this causes me less pain than it, than it fixes, you know? Like, uh, it may, it may still cause me a little bit of pain to... to run this, but ideally we'll get a good system figured out where the workers make good decisions. Alright, take it away. And, uh, and we don't have to worry. Uh, Alright, let's grab the sugar beet harvesting stuff and come figure out what the fuck this is going to be like. I have no idea. Uh, no idea. This one ought to be fun. Uh, 
All right. Okay. The Rootster, it's called. The Rootster. I thought it said Rooster for a second. The, the Rootster. <laughs> the Rooster. I'm going to call it the Rooster. That just feels right. Uh, we should keep our options open here. Let's go through here. A helm topper. It says it has a pipe? There's no way. It means the pipe on the back. Yeah, okay. Lower the topper. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, let's do a pass right here, I guess. Lower. Turn on. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong button. Uh, lower. Turn on. Lower. Unfold. Wait, is it folded? Unfold. Lower. Turn on. All right. Let's see. This ought to be very interesting. So I think the home just means the top part of the crop. Okay. Then we're going to run over it with this. Do I see anything moving yet? We have 25 liters of sugar beets inside of my... Uh, machine. Okay. I think this is working as is. I'm going to step out for a second and just make sure. Oh yeah. You can see it. Incredible. You can see the plant right there. Oh, this is what I worried about. I think I'm actually destroying some with these tires. I think I need narrow tires. Fuck. I think I'm actually destroying a row or two right here and right here. Shit. All right. Well, this is why we tested. Uh, I hope I can put narrow tires on this guy. Let's see if I can pull through here. Oh, this is a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Let's just drive it in the middle of the... Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, you could hit the bridge. I can't see shit. We gotta head over to the shop right now. Unexpected problems already. All right. Well, uh, that's okay. Let's run over here and just see if I can put narrow tires on. Oh, we just destroyed the building a little bit there, and also I got caught on it. Uh, that was fucked. I got a little too close. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck inside of the building. The inside of this building is real nice, isn't it? Oh, no. Don't actually get me stuck in here. <laughs> oh, harvest day going very according to plan so far. Uh, okay. So, you. Can I customize you? Ooh, I can't put narrow tires on with that type of tire. This is why I should have picked a different machine. Wide tires and weights. Wide tires, you guys you guys can't see this, I forgot. Um, shit. Well. We need to switch machines. So. Let's do that. Oh, I can't wait for this to go smoothly, you know? Cannot wait for this to go smoothly before too long. Uh, first things first. We should just get you moving. Again. By taking the pipe out and filling this sucker up. Oh, the pipe is literally so large. I always forget. Alright. So, we're going to have to use the McCormick right here on... Uh, that stuff, because it's the one with narrow tires uh, that I can put on. Um, so, I mean, switching these two tractors, it also means taking the front loader off of the McCormick and uh, putting that somewhere. Um, yeah. Interesting day here so far. I didn't see how many liters of corn we had, but uh, I'm sure it was a great, great amount. 
Interesting day. That's alright. We'll be done with this cornfield before too long, which is actually great because then we can start cultivating, etc. Um, ideally, if we have the uh, available machinery. Uh, okay. So I need you to drop this. Uh, we're going to put your front loader just over here, which I would consider vaguely out of the way. And then you're going to start uh, getting ready to take over right here. Uh, you are going to drop the back. Pull forward. Drop the front. And then go hang out over here. The New Holland. It can't have narrow tires on it. I should have expected that. It's a big tractor. 350 horsepower, whatever it is, with wheel weights on it. And I'm not 100% sure that we are destroying crop, but I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure that we're destroying crop over there. We're going to pull just slightly out of the way here so that maybe the combine has more room. Uh, the combine's going to be done before we even get this sugar beet harvest started. Oh, my God. I think this might be the last time we do sugar beet uh, harvest. That's okay because the adventure of it is fun and also we did not we rented this home topper and the harvester itself is actually a used piece of machinery so if we repair it and we sell it it may sell for i still need to back this up actually uh it may actually sell for a decent amount of money um just don't get me stuck in the building again please thank you all right so i don't know that we'll lose money Especially with a harvest. Oh my god, this tractor needs repaired for $6,000? $7,000? What the fuck did I do to this this tractor? Narrow tires, which we already own. So we don't have to... Uh, put any money on it. Uh, it unhooks everything when you do that. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. You ha you'd have to, right? You're... Uh, <laughs> to switch the tires on the tractor, you would 100% have to have to unattach the uh, the attachments. All right, so let's try this again. Uh, let's get up and close and ready, and then I'm gonna hop out and take a look. So this is all harvested. was right about here yeah we're just definitely just we, we destroyed loads of that crop fuck it's not very much this is why i did want to test it but that just goes to show we could have done the whole field um that way so let's turn this on and let's go for it and see what happens uh, we're going to go forward uh, probably about the same distance and see if we're definitely not destroying crop. Oh, cool. It still goes up as you sit there because it actually takes time to bring the, uh, to bring the sugar beet through. We're definitely not destroying crop because you can see it right behind my wheels right there. So that's good. I wonder if we're leaving any on the other side. No, it's lined up really well. Okay. Oh, well, great. Uh, we're going to do some passes around the outside here. And uh, this could be a very interesting day. Uh, this might take us quite a while. Um, let's do some quick passes around the outside. And then... I'm doing the wrong sort of passes. I want to go this way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. It's two different pieces of machinery you have to lower every time and turn on. And Oh, man. I hope we can hire a worker to do this, which is why I'm trying to do passes on the end right now. Also, if you're not straight like I wasn't right there, then I don't know that you get the whole thing. You definitely don't. Oh, buddy. 
Oh, we're never doing sugar beet again, I can tell. Oh, buddy. This is gonna be real interesting. It's- it's so... actually interesting. It's like chopping everything up, that home topper. Truly, truly interesting. Um, but also, oh my god. The amount of time this is gonna take, and... care and precision and such. Uh, lots, lots, lots. We're gonna have to do, uh... We're gonna have to do a whole lot of work here. <laughs> All right. I kind of want to just let a worker go on it and see what happens. See what they miss rather than what they pick up, you know? And then I'll just, uh... I'll just clean up the difference. I think I may do that, actually. We'll do two laps on this side and then I'm just gonna let this worker go. We've got most of it. Not perfect, but most of it. We're just gonna- we're gonna turn a worker loose and say, have fun! And then we'll go and, uh, clean up everything later. Like, right there, I just missed a whole ton because of the way that this machine turns. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. I can see the appeal of having that, uh, that machine that does it all. Which we rented the other day. Um... Alright, we're gonna need to go straight here. And then just turn a worker on and say, have fun. You're full? Oh my god, we're gonna lose it today. Holy shit, you're full. Holy shit. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, we're in trouble. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. That's the other thing about sugar beets, it turns out, is they, they create a lot of crop. Did you know that? They create a whole crap ton of crop. We missed a tiny little piece up here. We'll grab this. This is why I do... This is why I tend to do, uh... Canola? And soybeans? And corn? Even corn is complicated, because you have to cultivate every single time, you know? This is why you do... Wheat and canola and all right, let's whip it around, empty this sucker, and then at least I can turn in the uh, the header and be done with it for the day. Oh, buddy, I'm stressed. Blood pressure, blood pressure is going through the roof right now. I thought I was stressed when I was getting a divorce. God, I didn't know anything. Uh, all right, we're gonna leave this guy here right now, actually. And get you figured out, because we need to get a worker getting this sugar beet harvest done, or else I am going to be here literally forever. So, let's go dump this, and then we can do a lot of the miscellany of... 17,000 liters of corn, by the way, that's fine. Not bad, not bad, I think that's what we usually get. Oh my. Oh my my. <laughs> I had such good hopes for uh for today's uh for this episode and this recording. I was like, no, if I'm smart, it'll go fine. If I'm smart and I play my cards right, it'll go just fine. I don't even know how I'm gonna empty this uh this thing over here. Oh shit. You know, like I don't I don't know the best way that I can uh keep this guy empty if if two passes that's that's the equivalent of two passes on this thing uh just got you full i'm gonna have to find a way to do this without destroying the crop oy vey no way. We're going to want to go to the other end and come this direction. But we already have like 7,000 liters of sugar beets. It's going to be insane. Uh, they don't sell for a load. I think, it, I think it was like around 400 or something like that. 400 currently. Their good price is January. So 
This is a medium price right now. But you get so fucking much of it. Uh, Alright, let's turn it on. And our goal is just literally going to be to keep this guy running as much as possible. Uh, our goal will be keep this guy going. And that's the whole goal. So, uh, I'm going to go take the combine back. Uh, we're going to do some miscellaneous stuff while we least items. Uh, let's return the corn header. Great. We'll go park the combine uh, in its normal spot. And I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Excuse me, worker? Worker, what are you doing? This is not the field you are meant to work. Worker? What in the fuck are you doing, my friend? What? What? Oh my god. Fire, fire. Oh shit. Dude, I... This is mind-blowing. Also, the... The harvester itself... Just ran over the crop and killed it. So how does that make sense? How in the world does this make sense? Okay, I'm back. Uh, I didn't trust the thing enough to even go let the combine do its job. So I think what I'll do here is... I may end up having to do this entire field by hand, which is going to be maddening. Uh, I'm going to do some passes on this end too, just in case. That is somehow confusing for this machine. Maybe I need... You know what I need? Oh my god. Maybe I need two narrow tires machines. One runs over everything with the Halm Topper, and one just collect stuff with this. <gasps> Maybe I need two machines. Maybe I'm trying to do it all in the most complicated way. I think I might actually try that. Holy shit. Uh, like, we're just going to do it in two different stages, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Uh, hold up. Let's pull forward a little bit. Drop you. Turn you off. And get you out of the way. Let's go get the Massey Ferguson. It's the other one that can do a... Uh, I don't even know if the Massey Ferguson can run something on the front, but we'll... Oh, buddy, we're going to learn today. Uh, let's drop everything off. This is... <laughs> I got this far with the combine before I decided I better... Uh, I better uh, check back on that worker, and I'm so glad I did, because otherwise he'd have... I mean, the nice thing with a worker is that they don't destroy crops, whereas I have crop destruction on, which I may have to even turn off for this field. That's how annoying it's going to be. Uh, this is insane. Truly insane. I don't even know if I can technically run a front attachment on this tractor. I believe, I believe these are technically narrow tires, though. Oh my god, it can. Incredible. Uh, do you have the horsepower to run it is the next question. It says that it does. Okay. Am I destroying any crop? No. Incredible. Can I hire you as a worker? To do this. You can. Oh my god, we might be saved. Okay. Incredible. I'm going to go actually take this combine uh, and put it away. So I guess it just turns out that not all ventures uh, not all ventures are successful the, the first time you try them. Uh, interesting. We have... <laughs> this sugar beet uh, field is going to be a, a pain in the ass. Um, so that's fun. That's okay, though. We learned. I'm, I have no regrets for trying it. Um, we're going to dump this thing. I think what we're going to do right now, actually, is just let the, uh, is let the worker, oh, buddy, 
get a little bit ahead with that Helm Tomper. And then I will run this guy, uh, and I'll probably do a time lapse to do that. Yeah, um, it's a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Uh, I think what I'll do, actually, in the meantime, is let this guy uh, sit there, and I may take a load of canola. Let's actually speed up time a little bit. Last I checked, canola was uh, twenty-two three, twenty-two hundred dollars per thousand liters, which is good. Um, it's not great. Maybe it'll be up to twenty-three hundred by the time I get there. I think I'm gonna take a load of canola, sell it. I want to I wanna let that worker get as far ahead as possible. If he can get that whole field done, that's great. Um, before I come through with the uh, with the uh, harvester part of it. So, uh, let us... Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, that is interesting. So, I can't actually store sugar beet in this uh, grain mill. So, uh, I think our best solution now is actually to take it to Goldcrest Valley and store it there in the train station, basically, until pricing is good, and then go from there. Whew. Uh, it makes sense in hindsight, of course. This uh, this this silo is not going to uh, grain silo is not going to hold whole whole sugar beets the same way that it wouldn't hold potatoes. But that does cause me some problems. It's problem after problem with sugar beet so far. This field is going to be a wheat field ASAP. A fucking sap. I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay. In that case, uh, welcome to Ryan does some, uh, some harvesting. I'm going to run this sucker a bunch and try not to catch up with my friend. And uh, you're going to watch me do it a little bit. So... Let's time lapse this bitch. Well, I'm sort of in hell here. Uh, <laughs> who'd have known that sugar beet is such a pain in the ass to harvest? Oh my god. Uh, I'm sort of astounded at the way this has not gone well. The amount, amount of ways this has not gone well. Uh, obviously, I have to use two tractors where I thought one would do. Uh, you have to have narrow tires on both tractors. The harvester itself can technically destroy crop if you don't uh, cut the home first. Uh, the list is long. The list is long. I haven't even gotten to the the fact that you know uh, at this point the uh, the rows are actually too long for me to to harvest the full width of of the harvester. So I sort of have to harvest like three quarters of its working width uh, every time. Like it's 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 also super hard to see. Like, we're, we're basically doing, like, this much, which is probably three-quarters to half of, of what this thing can do. Because otherwise, we'd hit 100% halfway through a down-and-back pass, or three-quarters of the way through, and we'd have this really complicated, uh... 
we have a real pain in the ass of trying to load it. Um, we do have that done now, which is a huge help. I think what I'm actually going to do here is, is do extra lines on the other end to shorten it so that maybe I could hire a worker and it would hit, uh, it wouldn't hit a hundred percent and I could just man the tractor at the end. And, uh, like we're at four, we're at 51% right there. And that was me doing three quarters of a, uh, of a working with. So on the way back, I'm going to have to do even less than that. It's crazy. It's hard to see. It's. This is nuts. Uh, I will definitely never do sugar beet again with this type of machinery. If you could afford the big guys, which are just sort of slow, but also awesome pieces of machinery, uh, I can imagine it being fine. Um, but man, I have learned my lesson today. I'm still happy we did it, of course, of course. And maybe we'll make absolute bank uh, when we sell it. I hope so. Uh, but whew. I mean, I'm going to have to take a load to the, uh, the train station here soon. I think I'm probably about 80% uh, full. So, this is wild. Truly wild. Truly wild. I would, I would honestly just leave it and do, uh, and do other jobs over the next, uh, and like let a worker do it and I could do other jobs for a while. But the problem is I sort of have to have at least two tractors here at all times. Uh, sort of, sort of three if you're also doing the home topper part. Uh, so that I can unload, so that I can pull this. Uh, it's crazy. I have to like, I have to be very, uh, I have to be very present. I would just, I would just have somebody come do work on this field. But I think at this point, the best play is just going to be to knock this out. So what I'm going to do here is uh, a couple passes this way. And then we are just going to take a trailer load. Uh, I think we actually technically got all this. The other thing I'm going to have to do, this is insane. The other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to walk this field later. We're technically still getting somewhere here. I'm gonna have to walk this field later to make sure that I got it all because I actually can't tell. Uh, it's it's crazy. Uh, props to sugar beet farmers. If it's anything like this in the real world, god damn. We're gonna do at least four to five passes here, I think, to make it short enough that maybe a worker could get down and back without hitting full. Um. Yeah, this is cool, buddy. Uh, and then we'll take a uh, we'll take a load to the. Uh, oh shit! I'm gonna want to back that up. Back that ass up. We're gonna we're gonna take a load to the train station and just see. We shouldn't have a problem storing it there. I really highly doubt that, but I do want to make sure that I can actually store it somewhere before this episode is over. Um, and then I'm gonna do a ton of this off screen because we're not quite halfway done with this. We're a third of the way done with this field so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sitting here working for a while uh off stream or off uh off uh off camera sorry which is fine i don't mind it like I'm ha i mean it's farming sim at the end of the day i'd rather be doing this than almost anything else right it's farming sim i love it uh but also whew, i'm just shocked i'm shocked that every part of this is is uh more complicated than i thought it would be Okay. Um, I can't imagine what we're going to pay and pay and wage payments to. Uh, all right. We're running into that tree. I can't see anything. Can you get me out, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, buddy. Can't imagine what we'll pay in wage payments. All right. I think... They're just tiny little... I'm, I'm, I'm honestly telling where the crop is more by the dead weeds than I am by anything else. It's crazy. Uh, I think I can now set the worker to going. And then I'm going to go take a... A quick little... Oh, shit. I need to empty. Uh, a quick little trip to the... Uh, elevator. The train. So we got to be very close to full if we aren't already. I can't believe it's going to pour it on right there. We're probably... We are full. Damn. What do you know? All right. Well, uh, we'll get a worker going right here. And then uh, go, to the, go to the train station. All right. If I, the other thing is I got to line up a worker now. If I do that right there, will you go? You will? 
But you're doing great. Beautiful stuff. 45,000 liters of sugar beet, and we're not quite done. All right, so we want to head. Uh, I should just do it this way. We want to head to either the grain station. I uh, wonder what's going to be easiest. Probably just going out and then right to the east one. Probably the easiest one. Uh, I'm going to cut to uh, to us going there. All right, so now the question is where I dump this. Same spot? Probably? They, I'm sh I'm thinking of the real world equivalent here. Real world equivalent. You dump it right up, up there. And they would have the capability of doing it. Uh, I am also very honestly sitting here just making sure that we've checked all of this for collectibles. Listen, it's been a long day. I've done a new type of crop today. I deserve to be able to check for some collectibles on top of shit, okay? It's been a long day. Uh, Alright, so I think it's probably just... Uh, I don't think I can climb any of those ladders. Uh, I think it's probably just the normal... Normal spot. Ooh, I can get on the roof over here, though. Have I been on this... Oh, shit. Have I been on this roof before? Oh, I got a million things to be doing, and I'm out here looking for collectibles. I've definitely been right there, and I found a collectible like right there, so. Um. I can go over this way. I don't know that I've ever been over here before. I feel like I am very much in a secret place. Even though I don't actually think it's all that secret. If I fell down there, there's no way I would ever get back out. That is definitely a corner you'd never make it back out of. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and dump this. Forty-five thousand liters. I got part. I got very, very, only partly here before I got a worker. AI worker F has a full eighty percent full grain tank. <laughs> no shit. No shit. All right, I can dump it here. Incredible. So we have let a little bit of time pass today. I wonder how the. Uh, uh, prices for stuff are. Eggs are not quite 4,000 yet. Um, we want it to be fast food restaurant too, if we can. Canola is... Canola is at 23. I'm going to slow things down. I hope I get a chance to sell canola today. At right here, canola is at 23. Oh, yikes. Alright, I'm going to head home. I got a lot of driving to do today. I'll be right back. Oh, no. You know the worst thing I just realized? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> If we want to turn this field into a wheat field, we have to do that today. Oh, buddy. We're going to be in October for a while. Uh, we are going to be in October for a while. You know what we could do, though, actually? We could set... Uh, we could set it to two days per month for now. And then turn that right back off when we're done. I really can't tell if I'm driving over any crop. No, I'm not. It's right here on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, good. All right, go ahead and dump for me, buddy. Beautiful. Love it. Thanks so much. I'm going to be sitting here driving circles for a while. Uh, I would like to turn it into a wheat field, and unfortunately, that means doing all of it today. So uh, we will either set this thing to... Uh, set this thing to two months i'll stay here and do some work for a while we'll either set it to two months per two days per month meaning tomorrow will also be october and i can wake up and, and uh plant some stuff or uh we'll switch it around and we'll do uh we'll just keep things we'll keep things slow for a while but i'm gonna get some work done i'll be back to wrap this episode up here in a second okay we're done field is done uh i have not actually checked it super closely but i let the worker do their job uh i did check Ooh, we actually have some right there shit uh i was getting ready to say that we were done done but we're not damn it uh i want to be done but we are not apparently done we're gonna get like five liters right here why did we just get zero liters oh it's because it's still sorting them it's still sorting them let's turn it back on then we have 11 liters now. Okay. 
Uh, we're done, done. Hey, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, sell this piece of machinery and we're going to return the rented piece of machinery as well. Uh, we don't need this anymore because we are definitely done with... Uh, sugar beets. I'm never doing that again. That was fun. I'm very glad I did it once, as I've said a couple times here. Uh, but I'm never doing that again, for sure. Uh, so what we're gonna do is send this worker down to, uh, the shop while we go dump. Ooh, shit. Uh, while we go dump some... Uh, sugar beets in the grain elevator so uh i don't know we're gonna hold on to him for a little bit we should also i guess return this real quick uh return it sure sure uh i think i decided in the meantime by the way that we will just uh we're just gonna stop half stop halfway through this day today um we'll come back for tomorrow's episode and it'll still be october i want to get uh a couple things done i want to continue working on that cornfield um I want to at least get it started cultivating. I don't know that we'll finish it. Uh, I also want to plant wheat in that uh, sugar beet field. Uh, we could use the wheat, you know, um, use a little bit of extra wheat for sure. So uh, we'll do that. And uh, and we don't need to do two days per month and then switch it back here in a, in a second and all that jazz. So I'm going to go dump this. So we should end up having something like, uh, I don't know how to check it. I think it's like 75, 77,000 liters of, I think actually the way I can check it is right here. 77,000 liters of sugar beet. It's crazy how much, uh, from that tiny field, 77,000 liters. Uh, so now we're just gonna have to pay attention to it come December, January, February, March, and see what the pricing does. But, uh, God, I hope it's worth it. At four, at five hundred dollars per liter, it's thirty-five thousand from that. It's thirty-seven thousand from that field. The problem is, uh, we also bought equipment, rented equipment. I don't know terribly that it is uh, that it was worth it. Um, maybe it was. It's definitely not going to be worth it for us to do in the future. Hey, let's sell this. Uh, speaking of not doing it in the future, let's sell this. Uh, we can also. God, look at the McCormick. The McCormick is the dirtiest I've ever seen it. One of the this winter, we are 100% going to uh let me repair it. Uh we are 100% going to It only sells for 10,000. Shit, how much did I buy it for? Somebody will know too. Oh, uh, let me try something. If I repaint it right now for $5,000, will it go up by $5,000? Let's try it. I've wondered this since day 1. It did. Also, I got a steam achievement. Van Gogh? Incredible. I should be repainting stuff before I sell it. Holy cow. All right. Well, we bought it used. We repaired it and repainted it ourselves. We may have made money back on that. I don't actually know. Uh, I do not actually know. Either way, this wraps, wraps up the saga. There's my trailer headed home. This wraps up the saga of the sugar beets. Uh, for this playthrough. I think I'm done with those, but it was a fun time. It was a fun, it was exactly the sort of fun time, sort of like drinking in college, right? You graduate college and you're like, that was all those, all those nights, all those late, late nights that I barely remember. That was a ton of fun and exactly the type of thing I never hope to do again. Uh, thanks so much for watching this episode. I will see you the day after tomorrow for another episode and we'll, uh, we'll continue, uh, run an indigestion farm in the most interesting way we can and have a lot of fun along the way. So we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.